Hello, welcome. Let's continue our tutorial on variation. We are taking the third episode on joint variation. As the word said, joint, meaning we are joining the previous episodes, direct variation and the inverse variation together in one question. So it occurs when a variable varies directly or inversely with multiple variables. So x can vary directly as y and inversely as what? z. So multiple of variables will be used in there. So for instance, x, if x varies directly with both y and z, meaning as the product of y and z, then we have x being varying directly as what well, the product of x, y, and z. Well, you know, in this case, x will be equal to k, y, z if we change the constant of what proportionality to become k. Good. Then also, if x varies directly with y and inversely with what z, first of all, we are going to have x varying which is directly as what? Y. Let's take that one. Then the same X is what is varying inversely. So X varies as inverse of Z. So it is the same X that is varying directly. The same X is varying what? Inversely. So combining the two together to mean the same X, the same constant of variation, it means your one, uh, Y, will multiply the 1 to give us x equals to, okay, let me use the variation, y over what? z or y divided by z. So, we are going to have x varying directly as your y, then inversely as what? The z. So, that is a joint variation, combining the variation of direct with inverse variation. Now, we have to take note that only one constant is used. You see, in the case of this, this is constant, this is constant. But we are going to use as one. So only one constant. I'm stressing this because under the next episode, we are going to be using two constants in a single question. So now let's see how we can be able to marry this in a question. Question one. So, x varies directly with the square of y and inversely with z. So, we can see that if I am going to have x varying directly as what? Well, the square of y. And x is also varying as the inverse of what? z. You know, combining this so that we use this one constant of what? Variation. We are going to have your y squared multiplying 1 to become x varying directly as y squared divided by what? z. So in this case, we can translate this to become x equals to constant of proportionality is going to be k multiplying your y squared divided by what? z. So now we are going to use the first figures given to us in order to find our constant of what? Proportionality. So x is 40. So we're having 40 is equal to k times y. And in this case, our y is 4. But the y is squared, so we keep it there. What the value of x, z, is also 2. So I divide by 2. What is next? We know this is a fraction. So we can multiply through by what? By the... The 2. I know the 2 can divide 4 squared, but let's multiply to have 80 equals to k times this, which is going to be 16k. So now we are looking for the values of uh, k. So we divide by 16, divide by 16. So k is going to be 5. k will give us 5. So if 5 is k, we can substitute, let's label this equation 1. 
we can put this back into equation one. So per so per substitution, our x is not going to be k, which is now five y square over z. So this becomes the second equation. So now our task is to find what x. Find the x when y is ten, z is twenty-five. So here. I will also substitute 5 times y, which is 10 squared, divided by the z, which will be 25. You know, right away, this will be going here 1, go here 5. I will be having 100 in the case of 10 squared, divided by what? The 5 we are still having there. And that gives us 20. So it means that when x, when y is 10 and z is 25, the value of x will become 20. So you can see how we are solving the joint variation with no difference from what we have before. Then number two, given that y varies directly as x, so let's have y varying directly as what? x, and inversely as the square of z. So y will also vary inversely as the square of z and you know by combination the x multiply the one so in all y will vary as x divided by the square of what z let's translate that into equation that will mean kx over z squared so that is our first equation we are going to do substitution in order to find the constant k. So what do we do? We are starting for the value of y being uh, first 4. So I will have 4 k times x. So 4, we have 3 for x. Then z, in this case, is going to be 1. We know 1 squared will still give us what? 1. So let's just say 3 will be divided both sides. Meaning k will be equals to 4 divided by what? 3. That is the constant of proportionality. This will be substitute. So per a substitution, we are going to have y equals to, don't forget, if this is going to be a fraction, we have 4 over 4 divided by 3, or x. Don't forget that x will multiply the 4, meaning 4x divided by 3. Then we divide by z squared. If the z squared sign is changed to division, we know it becomes z squared of 1 dividing 4x on 3. Change this to multiplication. The 1 goes up, z squared comes down. What I mean is that 3 and z are not going to be together as the denominator. So I'll be having 4x divided by 3z squared per substitution. So now we are going to find the value of what? Find the value of y when x is 3. So y will be equal to 4 times x, which is 3. 3 times x, in this case, is going to be 2 squared. I believe we can get 12 from there. This will also give us uh, 4. 4 times 3, I believe I'll still get 12. And that is 1. So y will be equal to 1. When x is 3. And z equals to 2. So you can see that joint variation is not anything difficult or different. It's the same value. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. Come back to this space for partial variation. Bye-bye.